What's up, y'all? So today I'm gonna show you, that was really sassy. But anyway, today I'm gonna show you um, the different ways that I've been getting around not doing Anki every day. Because ever since I got out of the hard part of medical school, I've realized, hey, I don't actually need to do this every day to learn new things. So that's what today's video is all about. All right, so welcome back to the small screen. Um, what I wanna show you first is how I go about organizing my Anki. And most of you who know my videos will know I have a very good chronological way of doing things. Uh, but here's the point. If you want to avoid doing Anki every day, you will have to rely more on cards that you personally make rather than uh, pre-made decks. And the reason for that is because with pre-made decks, when you pull in cards to your deck, you've never seen those cards before. And therefore, you haven't even done a first pass of the material. On the other hand, if you make cards on your own, you more likely than not have already done a first pass of the material as you're making those cards. So now, let me show you how I get away without doing Anki every day, but still actually learning things. And I'm going to use my case study of my personal learning tools as uh, a way to show you this. So for example, I took a class earlier this year called the Science of Wellbeing. It's a very popular class and I'll show you right here on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, it's right here. It's on Coursera, it's available for free and I completed it. And the way I completed it is I completed all six weeks of the material and I made flashcards for each one of those weeks. And in the process of that, I didn't actually review every single week, every single day. The way I did this course is that at the end of week one, there was a week one quiz, and therefore I would review week one's cards at the end of week one, right? Um, just like right here. Similarly, I would go through week two's material, I would watch all the videos, and then as the week two quiz came, I would review week two material. And then week three, week four, week five, week six, and then notice how at the end of each week, I would review that week's material, but until that point, I would actually not do any flashcards at all. And the point of this is to show you that as you're going through material, if you make your own flashcards, you don't actually have to do those flashcards consistently. If, of course, you want the full effect of the space repetition algorithm, you definitely can. But this is kind of my way of going in between because oftentimes I'm doing a lot of these fun courses on my own and I'm not doing them as a full-time gig. I'm doing them usually for my own sake as I'm doing either medical school or even in this case, I'm working full-time at Geisinger, right? So that's just one of the things I wanted to mention to you. And I now also want to point out that even though each of these weeks is well behind me, if and when I ever want to review this concept again, I can always refer back to these things uh, by going through these flashcards again. But the point for me is not to memorize everything all the time. The point for me is to memorize things when they're relevant, especially as I'm going through the course. And then again, if this ever were to come up again, I can refer to it specifically when I'm talking about mental health or things like that. One more example I want to give you is this other module I'm doing right now on value-based care because I'm doing an internship at Geisinger. Uh, and they're very big on value-based care. And this is a whole like capstone course. There's six courses in this. So I've already finished course one and now I'm on course two, which is all about reimbursement models. But you'll see in course one, I have not even touched any of these Anki cards yet. And the primary reason for this is because I, ha I haven't yet reviewed course one. I went through all of the material and I did that first pass and I made all of those flashcards on my own as I was going through the material. But I have yet to actually tell myself, okay, I need to make sure I review this. And the reason for that is because I haven't given myself a deadline. And that deadline is actually going to be like next weekend is my goal to finish both courses one and two and then go through all of them. And the point of doing it this way is to give myself a little bit of space in between um, learning the concepts and actually then synthesizing them. But the good part about doing it this way is I don't pressure myself into doing everything every day and I give myself the breathing room I need to actually then go back to these things. The other important facet is you need to be making these flashcards because otherwise there is no way anyone else would understand them if like someone else made this flashcard and I just took it. Because in this case, like I'd just be like, what the heck is VBC? What does that even mean? But because I made this flashcard, I know it's value-based care. FFS is fee-for-service. Um, value-based care aligns with the interests of, I think, 
the providers, the payers, and then the customers, right? So look at that. So just by making these flashcards, I have not looked at these flashcards in, in a while, but because I made them, they were good uh, as a way for me to do my first pass. And therefore, I don't need to look at them every day to get that concept down. You can see that I am finishing this module. I don't do all the flashcards every day, but at the same time, I do still have this arsenal of value-based care knowledge right here. I've been learning about crypto. All of that stuff is right here. I take notes on investing, and I also take notes on documentaries and things like that. And by doing this, what I'm essentially doing, and this is the second part of Anki that a lot of people underestimate, is I'm creating a database of very useful information. So that way, like for example, now that I'm at Geisinger, in week three, for example, if suddenly a bunch of stuff about value-based care comes up during my work, all I need to do is go to browse and look up value-based care. Um, and all of the cars that are going to come up in this search are things that are relevant and that I've studied before, including things that I've actually learned in other classes. And the brilliant part about this is, like, let's say I'm like, oh my god, there's all this stuff about value-based care that I remember that I learned at one point. I can just take these cards and then move them over to my Geisinger week three deck. Because if that's where I'm seeing it and that's where I'm focused, then I can just move it over. So all of this to say, sometimes it's actually not necessary to do your Anki cards every day. It's much more important to be learning things consistently, whether that's in the form of a Coursera course or whatever it is you're learning, whether that's even your medical school stuff. Make those cards, review them right before you think you're going to need them, and then move on to the next thing. You trust me when I say you do not need to be doing these cards every day, and I can tell you for a fact it will still work just fine. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.